Surprise, but it is an old English word. Uh, this is about the story about Johnny Depp, his wife, and the Sun newspaper. Amber Turd, actor, blamed wife for poo in bed. Right, let us move on to social work then. And, uh, of course, this is hugely important uh, during the COVID-19. UK is not ready for an avalanche of social work referrals and the sector is losing thousands because of the response. Caris Phillips, Senior Social Worker Practitioner, Social Workers Union. Caris, morning to you. Good morning, Penny. M morning. So first of all, let's talk about this system facing collapse. Explain a bit more why. Well, COVID, as you know, as, as the headlines have pointed out, has exposed what social workers have already um, been doing and, and dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis, really. The fact that um, the, 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 it's exposed the dreadful inequalities in the UK and we've got sort of hidden tragedies uh, with vulnerable people that we work with across the life course. So we work with people with mental health, learning disabilities, older people, children. Um, and as COVID has just really highlighted the health inequalities and the social inequalities that already exist. Is, I mean, so it, it won't be surprised. Sorry. No, sorry. Sorry, I was going to say, so, so we, there's obviously a worry about those who are receiving social care and visits from social workers that are uh, particularly vulnerable to the effects of COVID. Um, is there also a worry for that, those staff that are kind of drawn into those situations that might put them in vulnerable positions too? Totally, yeah. So, I mean, social workers work alongside people, build relationships in every, you know, at every point of, of crisis in, in people's lives. And it, you know, the, the, people who are shielding are the people who social workers are working with. So we've got very isolated families and carers who haven't got support and who are too scared to maintain their, their own packages. Um, and social workers deal with emergency situations where they have to go into family homes. And the, the story and the, the um, devastation of the PPE scandal, really, which mm. I'm sure will, will, you know, has affected um, social workers going out their their day to day business, really. So, um, and I think the report, you know, from school, the Social Workers Union, shows that we've got hidden tragedies. You know, our survey suggests that we've got managers, um, for, for whatever reason, threatening staff. Um, and people feeling very vulnerable um, whilst they're so working in isolation within their own homes. It won't yeah. surprise you, uh, Penny or Craig, that 80% of the social work population are women um, with their own families, aging carers, as well as young children. Um, and maybe, you know, so if you've got, you're working within your 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 family home in your kitchen in your living room and um, supporting very isolated and people who are feeling very very frightened um, and the government response has been well farcical and, and very poor really so you know today's headline is we've got an, a radical um overhaul of the nhs but there's nothing about social care um, and the differences between health and social care have been brought into sharp focus. Yeah. What would you like to see from, from the government? Well, a, a radical overhaul of health and social care. So we've got the differences between health and social care. Um, we, uh, uh, social care... Well, in, in what way, in what way exactly. though, Karis, would you like... To, what, 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 in what way would you like to see it changed, though? Well, in terms of the funding mechanisms, so local, social care is very much linked to local authorities who have to come in on budget every year. And I think where, you know, the, the support and the organisations have been um, saying very loudly and clearly, um, you, you know, the tragedy within older people's care homes the admission rates as well as the death rates 
uh, you know, show the, the system needs a fundamental overhaul. We've we've had a green paper, the reform mm. that government has promised for over t- ten years has um, has has not happened. And, and and is is part of the challenge that link? Because obviously at the moment there's a lot of focus on the NHS and how it's managing COVID-19. We've seen at the beginning of the crisis the issue of care homes not necessarily being considered as part of that full infrastructure and how they interacted. Um, does social work need to be, yeah? Does social work need to be kind of integrated, or 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 is it got its well, own thing? I, I think that, that, you know something definitely needs to happen. We've got the move to integration, Mm -hmm. but then we've also seen um, the move from hospitals to care homes, which, you know, has caused the unnecessary death of of thousands of of older and vulnerable people. So more integration may mean the dominance of the the NHS over social care. and, and the culture within it, within that. So we, we know what the culture within the NHS, you know, um, we've seen lots of whistle blowing. Um, and I, 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 I would be concerned um, about, you know, the, the impact. So NHS is free at the point of delivery. In Scotland, social care is free at the point of delivery. In Wales, we've got a tax cost for people. But in England, people are still having to sell their homes because of the, the the differences, really. And I think those very nitty gritty problems need to to happen, really. Yes, I think. I mean, the the, the problem, of course, I'm sure the government would say at the moment is is about how much we are already spending with furloughing, with with trying to help people not to lose their jobs, all of those all of those sort of things. If there was, Absolutely. if there was one, and I think if the, you know, the conversation needs to go on, really. And I, yeah. you know, at the end, it, it is about a rebalancing of society, really. So we, we we've got a footballer getting free school meals which is fantastic, but that shines a light on, you know, like it was only last year that the UN special reporter described the the, the government in, in the UK as harsh and uncare and ethos. So, mm. so we need to change the, the conversation. Social workers are seeing that harsh and uncare and ethos on a day-to-day basis. And it's, yeah. it's you know... I, I, you know, we, we emphasise and we care. So we're seeing um, hidden tragedies happening, um, you know. At, All the I time. Know. And, and, that's, and, and, and I know that from your research, you found that a third of social workers are looking for, for new jobs. What would you what would you say to them? Because obviously this is going to be such a huge problem going forward. Absolutely. So, again, I think it, it's a time for you know, national reflection and, and working together as organisations and exposing the need, so exposing the dreadful inequalities and asking what are we going to do about it. So I think everybody now appreciates the the, um, the hard work that the NHS has done to, to maintain people's lives and outside of hospitals, it's social work that is, is the the sticking plaster to enable people to live fully and independently within their own homes and within their own communities. So, and, and I think and again, that's the national conversation. Um, and I guess and that, sorry, that public conversation, yeah. that public perception of, of social work, do you think that people realise kind of how tough a job it is and how good work the people out on the front line are doing? Uh, well, some do, some don't. I suppose it, social work does touch people at different points in their lives, and I and I think from you know from at whichever point it touches you, then you'll have your own perspective. But I think it is you know the hidden service, the, the Cinderella service that goes from pre-birth to uh, old age, and it's a, a profession that works across. Uh, the generations um, and it tries to support and enable um, the you know, people we come into contact with, um, and very often that is people in, you know, 
whose whose life chances have been blighted by by poverty, by mental health, um, by long term physical and learning disabilities, and then older age. So we, you know, many of the care homes uh, are run for profit, um, and it, you know, we've we've seen scandals certainly in in. In, in Wales, um, and certainly within the NHS, so, and then social workers shine the light on that. Um, and part of that role, social workers have to be resilient and understand yeah. the, um, the, the personal, the political, uh, and the cultural impact. So, um, so it is about resilience. It is about through supporting its staff and, and bad words of the, the professional organisation, supporting that conversation and being um, a, a, the, the voice of the, the expert practitioner. So, mm. and, and maybe, you know, shining lights in, into those hidden areas. Okay, thank you very much, Caris Phillips, their Senior Social Worker Practitioner, the Social Workers Union. The time is quarter past eight. You're listening to Penny Smith on Talk Radio. Power by the Times and the Sunday Times. Know your times. Talk Radio. Get revved up for a new kind of chat show. Cruise into the weekend where star names are queuing up to be part of the conversation. Don't miss Driven with Andy J on Talk Radio in association with Paramex Digital, proud creators of DrivenChat.com. Join me, Andy J, for the show that finds out what drives celebrities and achievers and what they drive. Driven with Andy J, this afternoon from 4 on Talk Radio in association with Paramex Digital. You dream it, we bring it to life. Find out more at DrivenChat.com. Welcome back to Sausage and Egg McMuffiners and Hash Brown in the Middlers. Welcome back to Red or Brown Sauce Debaters and Latte One Sugar Drinkers. And welcome back to those who drive through. We know you missed us. We missed you too. Welcome back to the breakfast you love at McDonald's. Takeaway, but delivery or drive through. <laughs> Served until 11am, subject to participating restaurants, opening hours and menu choices. There's no place like home. 